All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and um, yeah, a couple of days of just getting seven hours of sleep is to uh, help me. It's fine. <sighs> Caught up to me a little bit, and of course, it's probably because I miscalculated and took in too many calories. So, you know, today is my physical day off. So, you know, I'm going to just chill because I don't even feel that hungry. So I'm definitely going to chill on eating today and just, just maximize protein and just minimize calories. So I won't even be eating any of the major stuff. Also, I didn't, I forgot that I put the half pizza in the freezer. So I don't have to work because I don't have to worry about mold, mold growing uh, 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 inside the pizza or on the pizza. So it's like, wow, it's only been like three weeks, like two and a half weeks, and there's already mold in like one of the last kitchen California pizzas. Like, I really didn't want to throw it out and just try to like get rid of the mold that I easily could. I was like, ah, all right, fine. You know, it's just we live in a world of abundance. And yeah, even though uh, money's technically a little tight, it's like, yeah, you know, we'll just let God handle handle that stuff. So anyway, uh, let's find the Firefox, uh, Fire, Firefox and my shitty VPN. So, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it is a big problem. All right, so anyway, let's, uh, let's just get into it. Um, so, yeah, well, let me think. Yeah, so there's a lot going on. I think, I mean, I think things are getting better, technically. The problem is I still don't know if Trump's going to win re-election, so. Uh, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, so maybe we could pull, the, uh, pull off a miracle. Um, with that being said, Bitcoin searches have skyrocketed to 16 on Google Trends, so this is very good. So that means the normies are finally coming in and doing this shit. Uh, Bitcoin Donuts at 62.5 percent, 24-hour volume is at 86 billion. Uh, Bitcoin's at 11 thousand dollars, a little under 11 grand. Uh, Litecoin's at 57.13. Uh, Doggy Coin is at 398.8 million market cap, so. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. And so far, it's still been pretty neutral otherwise. Also, we're getting ready for the end of the week. There's a lot of big tech shit happening, and the equity markets are not doing uh, so hot. So, um, as I say, I think all things considered, crypto is doing very well because, again, you have to compare asset classes to other asset classes. Yeah, you know, like in our case, it's down a little bit, or it's basically the same. I don't know why it's just minus 1% or whatever. But basically, it's flat lines like 0%. But everybody else is losing like one, two, three, four percent or whatever, losing a shit ton of money. So yeah, we're doing really well. You know, if everything was crashing, including crypto, then well, you still shouldn't worry. But it's like, ah, you know, now 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 the bull run has just been screwed over yet again. You know, luckily that's not the case. All right, so more people are getting screwed by uh, the lockdown bullshit. Every time I see people having to wear a mask, I just get like annoyed and uh, angry because it's all based on lies. Uh, stocks lose a lot after a grim GDP. 32.9% uh, quarter two. Yeah, this was completely man-made. There was no, like the fucking evil globalists really did a good job just screwing everybody over. Uh, but swings to second quarter loss. All right, so the only good news is maybe if everybody loses, including all the assholes that support the lockdowns and masks, maybe they will actually like be like, "Yo, we need to reopen this shit. Fuck this." So I'm hoping that because eventually what happens? Because remember, myopic loss aversion. People feel losses uh, 2.5 times more greatly. That seems I'm still going off of really old data, but that's about it. It probably hasn't changed much. Then they do of uh, an amount of the same gain, right? So you win a thousand dollars, you feel good. But if you lose that one thousand dollars, you feel like and you think like you lost twenty five hundred dollars, right? That's called myopic loss aversion. So eventually, the myopic loss aversion should catch up with everybody, and everyone's just gonna be like, "Fuck this! Fuck this bullshit!" Um, and I think I think it's not completely um, illegitimate either, because you have to also factor in time. How much time and effort did you take to get that one thousand dollars, right? Because you're, because it, intuitively we all value our time in some degree. Even people who don't value their time or they don't think they value their time, it's still worth something, right? I can prove it. Because why don't I just take away the shit that you worked for and then that you paid for, and then let's see how you feel. Yeah, you're gonna get pretty angry and upset, right? Again, because you value your time. So eventually, all that negativity should catch up, and I'm hoping. It'll just say enough's enough. We want to lift this lockdown. I'll take my chances. 
Uh, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right. So I don't even think I want to bother looking at anything. Everything's down. Tesla is down hardly anything. I did watch the launch. Uh, I didn't even know we were launching a probe to Mars, the next generation Mar uh, Mars rover. So uh, we'll find out. On, I forgot the date. It was like February 21st of next year or something. But seven months from now. So it'll be pretty cool. Chinese yield, Tesla Electric Vehicle, Capri Lee Auto raises 1.1 billion in U.S. IPO. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. So ever since China stated the uh, obvious about white genocide in Western society, I've noticed all the attacks in China have just like slowed to a crawl to something a lot less racist, sounding a lot more reasonable. So uh, <laughs> it really goes to show who's really in charge of this country, man. So, um, so it's going to be interesting. The evil global elites that truly control Western society in America, especially versus China. It's, uh, it's going to be an interesting dynamic. But yeah, I'm definitely going to play. Uh, I'm going to definitely play the uh, king slash peacemaker. But first, I have to get my show out. So today, I'm going to. Make sure I finish commission the last piece of logo before I and then I have to think I have to have, I have to decide do I spend like five hundred bucks now and get two pieces of music done or not like um I, I don't know because if because if I have to refile copy that's an additional thirty five dollar fee or actually fifty five dollar fee I should say. Dow futures slope as quarter two GDP pledges most on record weekly job claims. Da, 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 Fed. Uh, well, actually, I probably do want to read this. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to go off another site, so let's just hope Yahoo Finance does the job. Uh, aside from that, I just don't see anything. Everyone's just preoccupied with this GDP shit. And yeah, of course, the uh, tech hearing was bullshit as always. And I'm glad that more people are realizing it's bullshit. So they're like, hey, can you fucking do something? Ah. <sighs> See, on the one hand, I would be very happy if Joe Biden won, simply because I could finally take on the fucking fake Republican Party and destroy it and then rebuild it. I mean, of course, we're not going to be allowed to vote conservative, so it's a double-edged sword. Uh, but on the other hand, yeah, if Trump wins, then obviously that's the base plan A plan. Right? Always have a plan B, C, and D, or whatever. Because, right? because, uh, uh, as you already know, I've been doing a lot of research on China. And despite all the dumb shit they've had to go through, they actually view everything as an opportunity still, because we even have a word for it, right? It's the same word as disaster. And at least, you know, China has at least, you know, kept that part of the Chinese culture there. And yeah, and that's a big reason why, because like right now, America does not see too many opportunities. China does. That's why China is expanding. If like, it's just a mindset problem. So, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. Right? That's also why I'm coming out on my show and game. So it's like, okay, this is what God's leading me to. Um, so regardless of what happens, I should be okay. I should be able to do my work. But, I mean, again, uh, if I sit down and think about it, right? Worst case scenario, Joe Biden wins. Kamal, and we'll talk about that soon because Kamal, and we'll talk about Kamal Harris. And then, um, what was I saying? Where was I on? Oh yeah, so let's say uh, Kamal and Joe, Kamal Harris wins, Joe Biden wins, you know, because Kamal Harris will be the vice president, but she's actually going to be the president um, if if they win. And uh, now I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, it's going to take some time to start deplatforming all the Republicans and conservatives. Now we just don't disappear, and we still consist of like what thirty to forty percent of the uh, you know population. So there's definitely going to be a large amount of anger and um, uh, pushback, right? And then inevitably, you know, deep state will try to do kind of protest, bring guns. You know, everyone will find out the truth. Cause, and then, you know, that's when, that's when people will start actually realizing, okay, we don't give a shit anymore. We got to go full truth mode, right? Like I used to when I used to do political videos. For those of you who are very old time and still remember, you know exactly what I'm referring to. The tribe that owns the world, that also hates China because they're trying to use China as a scapegoat, they're losing grip on America. Now, in the short term, they will, they could possibly win a major temporary victory, but they've already lost the war. It's just a matter of can we survive it, right? And obviously, can we still, let's be honest, can we still have our little comfort, you know? So we'll have to see. JFC coins at seven to nine. Again, no news on this because, you know, Mitch is having such a hard time with the bug fix. 404 is still doing pretty well, 185 at 200 uh, for now. Uh, Rick's 
done. This is two by two. Two by two is at 33 to 38, still doing okay. Uh, and Rick's is, this was working before, now it's not working anymore. Like, I just hate the combination of a VPN and Firefox, right? And I can't fucking use Brave yet. Oh, and Brave is legit because turns out the he the guy who founded Brave Browser was actually a Christian who actually worked on the original Firefox team, and he got kicked out for being a staunch uh, Christian. So uh, he's definitely trustworthy. He's also apparently very competent because fucking Brave Browser is an amazing browser. I just you know come to think of it, uh, Tunnel Bear Brave Browser. Let me see. Do they actually have it there for? Uh, yeah, they, they still don't have support for Brave. Yeah, maybe I do want to find a VPN. I may have to find a VPN. And there's also Tor, I guess, but I just kind of don't want to really use crazy shit. I don't know, maybe I might have to make that switch, because this is starting to get annoying. So anyway, Rick's has crashed to 101 to 105. And, um, you know, I, I own some Rick's too. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess the strength of the, you know, meme is good enough, right? Because, uh, yeah, we don't have use cases, we don't have enough marketing, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, the supply is finally catching up. So, you know, that's what happens, yeah? So, uh, I'll still do okay for a while, especially since it's only 300% APR, but it's still going to be kind of a problem. Uh, oh, nothing new here. Um... I thought that was a pizza pie. Bitcoin's profile at 11k realized price recovers from Black Thursday. Da, 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 da. Like the people are just making stuff. Like I've never heard of a Black Thursday. Like what the hell is that? Bitcoin's latest rally may have saying power exchange flow suggests coin and blah blah blah. Peter Schiff gold harder cut than Bitcoin searches spike. Um, this looks like yesterday's headlines. I know I re I know I was having trouble. Let me refresh it again. But maybe there's just nothing here. It's a good time to buy Bitcoin. Search to 12K. That didn't work. Greedy Goldman. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. I'm kind of surprised there's no mention of today's market uh, disaster. Shelly Hartford launches Big League towards decentralization. So it's good. Uh, Dream Crypto Assets or Sleeping Giants is gears up for the next minute. CNBC massive Bitcoin wall officially underway. Brian Kelly's target for the top. So if, I, if it's, I think it's the old white guy on CNBC, right? Because I, I know I mentioned some guy like that, and there's no picture here. All right, well, all right, well, I'm not interested then. Uh, but yeah, that's good. CNBC's uh, good, very good. Uh, Ethereum hits new, no, don't care. But whales are buying the, uh, I might actually be interested in this because it's about altcoins. Smash through this, uh, no, who cares, Bitcoin best deal, okay, so, all right, so, so aside from the GDP report, there's actually nothing happening, all right, that's fine, but that's still pretty bad, 33%, I mean, they'll have to revise the numbers, because it's always notoriously inaccurate, but that's still a pretty big number, uh, so Kanye West is still down here, that's not good, all right, so basically, Joe Biden's vice presidential pick is rumored to be Kamala Harris, and they're going to release the date sometime around August 1st or something. Now, supposedly, and there's not a lot of info, uh, a Kamala Harris vice presidential pick might be very bad uh, for the Democrats. Um, I don't know, I'm going to need more data, but that's basically, but basically she's like basically another Elizabeth Warren, essentially. So, but on the other hand, you know, a lot, of, a lot of dumb people still think she's like pro-black when she's like one of the most anti-black people there is. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this works. Now, if Kanye West does place his cards right, assuming Kamal Harris and Kamal Harris is going up because, yeah, the inside information looks looks to be more credible. So they're now, you know, inside gambling trading thing here. Uh, Kamala Harris uh, could be a very good attack vector for Kanye West, right? Because Kanye West will definitely talk about how it will be a disaster for blacks. This is what Kamala Harris did to the black community. She she hates us. She's not even she, she's genetically not even black. She stole our culture. She pretended to be black. Blah 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 blah. You know. So if Kanye West can make can cause a big enough stir, it could it could work. It could work. Donald Trump, uh, Troy Toy will be able to see. Uh, I'm also going to be 
changing my Twitter focus to basically uh, things that will just be consisting of action. Now, there's not going to be any more complaints really on my Twitter because I'm, I'm, I'm done having annoyance with uh, complaints. People complain protest all the time. It's very hard to get anything done. Major China virus flare-ups in many of the countries are the fake news talk so well. Oh yeah, I read that earlier. I'm just curious how many people are getting angry about. Let's see, because I always see the Eugene Yu asshole. Uh, is it Republican? Okay. Wow. So this guy has now slumped down to fishing for uh, leeching off of shitty replies like I do. Right, but he's an actual big person, and he's like, fuck. The Republican Party is just so fucking pathetic. Just so we know, we need to. Okay, so it's just some liberal cunts. Uh, this looks Korean. Could be Chinese though. But the thing is, this looks Korean, or maybe it's just because of the font type. I know it should be funny, right? Because I'm Chinese, I should know. I should know this, but I don't. Uh, yeah, this is just uh, this is just the, the most worthless replies. Uh, drug prices coming down, mail-in voting. Yeah, so basically they're already stealing the election. Um, uh, and I already retweeted this uh, experiment. So basically, what happened was, uh, ninety-seven percent of all votes made it. Three percent got lost in the mail, or I guess stolen. So um. I mean, I already watched the whole thing, but basically 3% is actually a lot in a swing state. So that's probably how they're going to rig the election. In addition, to, of course, to the, you know, fake votes and, you know, rigging shit and whatever. Um, let's see. But yeah, that was the whole purpose, All right, You know, the shut... I mean, at first the shutdown was really bad. The coronavirus was really bad for the globalists. And then, you know, uh, the globalists turned that shit around, right? I still remember when I said it was a good, it was a good thing for us and bad for the left. Well, you know, they, they definitely knew how to do the Eastern martial arts, you know, <laughs> take your enemy's strength and turn it into its greatest weakness, you know, kind of thing. And then, well, again, what's Trump's greatest weakness? Um, he has no empathy. He's not very creative when it comes to stuff like uh, dealing with people, because, again, no empathy. And he surrounded himself with uh, evil, uh, anti-American, America last people, all right? And... He's finally figured it out, but I mean, again, it's just too late, right? They they ban they actually temporarily banned Donald Trump Jr. on Twitter, and then nothing happens. <laughs> so, so it's basically open season on on everybody now, right? Because they know there are no consequences, and that's that's actually a hundred percent Donald Trump's fault, right? Because this dumb fuck thinks if you just complain about it, things will get done. That's that, it's like it's no no. So whatever, man. Whatever. We all are gonna get what we deserve, you know. Wells are, buy are buying this relatively unknown crypto as money moves into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and large cap coins. But with that being said, yeah, when the bad shit happens, you know, assuming we don't get killed, uh, yeah, you know, it'll be a massive opportunity, and I'm definitely taking my shot, right? You know, with my showing game, which I still haven't shown anything yet, but I'm definitely gonna want to show it maybe a couple weeks to a month after. The copyright's already in the mail. Well, actually, not in the mail. I'm going to file it electronically. Speaker of continues sky probability. The crypto analyst from <clears throat> Sentiment reports that whales are rapidly accumulating the relatively unknown crypto Ren. Ren, which provides inner blockchain liquidity for decentral application, gained more than 350% value since the beginning of April and hits all time high of about 99. He's currently ranked 64th among cryptos by market cap and trading around uh, 1.68. Uh, I also need to check with the copyright thing. So and I was just blindly reading this. Uh, so Ren, what is Ren? Inner blockchain for D for D apps. Interesting. Simon, you like the metric? Okay. Well, it would be helpful to know what fucking Ren actually does. All right, I don't care about Ethereum. And then the rest is just technical analysis bullshit. Okay. So Ren. Hmm. Ren is a provider of Ren Project. What are you? 
Then we'll read the final article, which is the GDP shit. All right, our core product provides access to inner blockchain liquidity for all D apps, bringing BTC, BCH, and Zek to your Ethereum D app. Oh, okay, so it's basically a bridge software. Okay, I get it. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So let's say I had an Ethereum application. So instead of put, plugging and playing, now that I'm a programmer, instead of plugging and playing like coinpayments.net or like the standard Ethereum to whatever code shit, I could just use this RenGuys um, SDK, Software Development Kit, and then now I can bring in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Zek, and probably other shit too eventually. I like it. I like it. This is very good. So instead of coin payments, I might just use this and then just say, you know, fuck the 10,000 euro thing. All right? I mean, I'm already spending a lot of money on marketing, so I just need something that'll work. This is actually very cool. Very good. Very good. I like it. I like it. Stock market news live update stocks drop after grim GD. Oh, yeah. We don't need to. We already know what this is. Okay. Stocks fell. Okay, shitty GDP, it's down 33%. Investors also continue to adjust Federal Reserve's latest policy, which was largely viewed as dovish as a pre officials break for uh, market participants on Thursday received the worst GDP print on record, 32.9%. Second quarter covered their months from April to June, the beginning of the blah, 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 blah. Thursday morning also saw the release of the Labor Department's weekly print on new unemployment. You know, frankly, you know what Trump could do if he really wants to gamble? is just call this whole thing a hoax and then say they deliberately tanked the economy just to screw up the, uh, screw up the election and get me out of office. And it could work. Don't fall for their scams. Trump should just, should mention something like that. Um, the report shows a second straight increase in new jobless claims, blah, 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 blah. Big tech stocks. Oh, and then he should then... The problem is Trump doesn't have empathy, so he doesn't even think in terms like this like I do. But if he did, he could at least say, oh, and the reason why you don't have a job is because the Democrats shut down the economy and it's all their fault. Like he's got, he got, he has to learn to correctly do the blame game instead of just bitching about China all the, all the time. But, uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, but in any case, my mind's already made up, like. You know, now that I'm getting better with Christianity, like, hey, my primary objective will always be to bring people closer to God. My secondary objectives is basically whatever I decide, you know, uh, you know, like basically whatever I want to do. And of course, you know, it's like a side quest, right? You know, a side quest for my life, right? And then some of these quests are also obviously in general going to be in support of the primary quest, which is bring people closer to God. So with that being said, one of the biggest hurdles is actually fake Christians and Republicans, right? Because again, we found out that Jim Jordan, he's not a Christian. He took money from Google and he refuses to give it back, right? So now he's shilling for Google. Uh, he's, he's, it's all fake. So we got to just purge the entire uh, Republican Party and conservative movement of all these fake assholes and just replace them with true Christians. Uh, and that's going to be a difficult task. But it can be done. It can be totally done. Big, especially now that things are going to get a lot worse, there'll be an opportunity for it. Big tech stocks, blah, blah, blah. Um, broad market fell on the Thursday, blah, blah, blah. And of course, the bullshit hearing. Uh, hearing touched on a thornier issue. Jeff Bezos appeared for the first time, blah, blah, blah. Yet again, guys showing that they don't stack tech. They are now lying on their beef. Democrats worry about consumer choice. Republicans are worried about censorship of conservative me uh, messaging. Okay, uh, but I love all these companies. Yeah, it's great theory, but it tells me they don't want to be serious about any individual color. I have a hard time adding a single action that will solve antitrust issues across the board. Right, because it's a fake hearing. They don't have any intention of doing anything. Stocks, yeah. Well, I don't want to read the rest of this. Yeah, so basically, it's just a big nothing burger. People are, like, aside from the GDP drop, we kind of already knew this was going to happen. So, um, I don't know, what do we have? This is a very colorful thing, even though it doesn't really relate to it. Um, but yeah. I mean, overall, not, not much happening. Uh, oh, before I end off, um, yeah, I. The crypto, uh, the new crypto I created is doing pretty well. I'm still mining more blocks because just to make sure there's stability. Because I eventually, when I list on BTC Pop, uh, I have to send BTC Pop some initial coins to get their get their wallet going. Right now, I can't even really send any coins out. So, 
uh, and it has to be a meaningful amount, which is like at least a couple hundred. So it's, uh, you know, it's so, I mean, maybe I'll, I mean, I probably won't do it today because I got to concentrate on buying the logo and thinking about purchasing music. Um, but I mean, I probably will purchase the music, to be honest, because I want to create the main theme for my show and game. And then I also want to do uh, a music about chess. I, I already have the titles and stuff for it, so I don't want to mention it. But um, if you look up uh, ready for like this one. Uh, oh, I actually have it listed here. Actually, ah, it's copyrighted. All right, so I, I got to pause it. It's it's this was made in like oh yeah 1994 so it's obviously got very outdated music musical stuff because it was 94 you didn't have much room or tech but I want to create like basically a, I for some reason I already try to listen to this music piece it's like really good for chess and strategy games which is obviously is what I'm making so I'm gonna create like a modern version of something like this right and I'll just tell the music guy to make that oh I'm like oh wait. Oh, I was on Chrome. Oh, yeah. That's why you couldn't see it. Gotta pause it quick. Alright, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is the thing I'm gonna be making. That's the second one. The first one, it has to be the main theme of my show, though, so, um, yeah. Luckily, there's more reference points I can use. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, that's a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, I need some gold for this. I'm playing an idle game. So anyway, I'm done for the week. Again, not much happening. We're going into the weekend, so you know, want to relax, try to maybe take a quick nap because I'm still feeling groggy. I gotta make sure I get the uh, commission work done, do the research for my music, you know, make a decision, right? And then, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna start out also instead of working on the save function, I'm gonna actually work on building, uh, replacing the graphics of the turrets at least. So uh, we'll we'll see about that. Um. Let me think. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's about it. So anyway, I'll see you all next Tuesday, unless something happens. And then, uh, yeah, uh, just hunker down with your crypto. Nor I'd say just keep your job. I assume a lot of people don't have any jobs because of the lockdown bullshit. So, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see if Donald Trump really could make up lost ground. Because he, cause he's back in full form, but you like... Again, because he procrastinated and literally waited till after it was too late. Like the leader of the Griper Uprising has said, if the election were held today, Trump's re-election chances would be around 10%. Me, I'm a little more generous. I think it would be around 30-70%, right? 30% for Trump, 70% for Biden and Kamala Harris. But, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. August, September, October, then, then, yeah, so Trump has three months and, and like probably, what, 10 days, four days? Election day 2020, what's, what's the first Tuesday? Yeah, so he doesn't, he has like three days, so he has literally three day three months and like four or five days uh, to make up, make up like five to ten percent, I guess. I mean, again, I'm assuming there's going to be a five to ten percent hidden Trump vote, so uh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Anyway, see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin. By then, I think I'll probably already have the new crypto listed. So uh, I might actually do a quick video when I actually have it when it goes live on BTC Pop too. So we'll we'll have to see. All right, here's our thumbnail.